the Joe Rogan experience. That's one of the things that they were really worried about when those murder hornets showed oh, up. Yeah. Were the murder hornets? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, a fun great, time. What a great name. Yeah. Murder, murder hornets. It's a great band. Yeah. Uh-huh. It'll be a good band. Yeah. Especially the fucking rockin'. Really yeah. rock. Murder Just hornets. Just a thrash band. I'd wear their t shirt. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd wear, wear a bandana that had their shit on it. Bandana. That's how you know you're into the band. Yeah. When you show up like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Right. Yeah. Um, I think some of them were invasive. But some, but obviously they know what the fuck they're doing. They they go in there and they murder everybody. I mean, that's the definition of invasive: is eating someone's young after you crush them. And eating thirty, killing, just chopping the heads off thirty thousand of them. Invasive murder hornets are officially back in the U.S. Finally it entered the slaughter phase. <laughs> the slaughter what is this? The purge? Oh my god! So those are the ones, man. Did you know that hornets pollinate too? Uh, they have to do something. They all I, pollinate. I figure they serve some purpose out there. I, they just don't make honey. I don't think. I know my grandmother. I, lived I in take fear murder hun- honey all day. Dude, I want to get some murder hornet honey. What about that honey they the have? Mad in honey. Like, yeah, I have some. You want some right now? Yeah, we could do it. <laughs> What's it gonna do to us? You're gonna freak out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we have those shows this evening. God, what are you worried about? <laughs> I know the guy who owns the club. We're fine. Yeah. Um, where's, so you got, where's the you got murder, murder honey? Hun- honey? I don't know where mad honey. It's up there somewhere. Is it? Yeah. Where did you get your hands on murder honey? Mad honey. It's mad honey. It's okay. from Nepal. Yeah. It's those guys that- I've this seen those psychedelic videos. Psychedelic honey. Yeah. Yeah. Psychedelic's a strong word for what I experienced. What'd you experience? I didn't take much, so I just experienced like a light euphoria. It was kind of interesting. Ooh. But apparently if you go too much, it's really rough. I love euphoria. Great show. Yeah. Great feeling. I haven't watched it. Oh, you but should. But I do enjoy the feeling. You should watch some snippets doses. of it. I'll uh, send you some clips. Isn't it like a bunch of kids banging each other? Yeah, but they're of age legally. Oh, good. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not just fucking deleted scenes from Epstein's disc. Is that it? Let me see. It's from Nepal. Yeah, that's what it. the that's fuck. The shit. Yeah, it's Look made it. from it seems like, like it's broken up. So, do you think we shake it? <laughs> Detura, scary. Apparently, yes. I never fucked with that. Have you fucked with that? No, dude. Detura. It melts to... people's brains. Detura. Uh, Terrence McKenna swore off of it. Yeah. When he was talking to a guy in a, an open air market. Yeah. And the guy thought that they were back at his house. Oh, fuck. In the living room? Yeah. And he realized somewhere along the line of the conversation, the guy didn't know where he was. Oh, no. Like right now, in the moment, in an open air market, uh-huh. he thought that he was in his apartment. That sounds like a fun thing to do here on the podcast. Come on, buddy. Hey, man. You're here. Let's party. freak it out. You're yeah. in Texas. I know. They love uh, mad honey here. He got uh, stopped at the uh, um, TSA. Just a jar of that shit? No, because they, they were like... Making making sure he wasn't traveling with this stuff oh, after he did the podcast. That's good. Do we know the dosage on this, Jamie? This is or? totally legal, by the way. Good. That's what is that it? was my biggest fear was breaking the law. Is to, is Mad Honey legal? Just take a little teaspoon. Just get in there. I will take a little tea. You go first. Okay. Yeah. What are you scared? Yes. Mm. That's more than I took the last time. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Tastes like honey. It is honey. Yeah, it definitely tastes delicious. It tastes like. It smells Don't bizarre. take too much. Don't, I won't. I don't want you to die. Thank you. That's, just, that's just, big of you. Just like really get the spoon wet and then yeah. suck it. Suck the spoon. All right, I'm like the Dalai Lama. And then think about all the diseases you could be getting from me. I don't fear those. <laughs> we I saw think it you've got a good thing. ecosystem. <laughs> it's syphilis and all that stuff. No, I'm not worried. Thank you. Appreciate it. You like it, right? Don't go in again. Don't go for seconds. I'm not going for don't seconds. Don't fucking do it, Sam. No. Jesus. Well, all right. Let's see. Is this legal? What do you mean? Let's find out. It's just honey. Is yeah. This is what? a gag, to ladies eat. and gentlemen. We're faking. It, it tastes bizarre. Honey. It's just honey, bitches. Now my oh, tongue thanks. is on fire. We'll wait until it gets to your brain. I can't wait. This will be good. Do, 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 <laughs> smoke dun, on the water dun, over dun, here. Dun, 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 I'm going to go full Creedence Clearwater. Yeah. Oh. Mm-mm. Mad honey. It tasted uh, bizarre. The label. It's legal to purchase in the United States, according to this. There thing. we go. It's legal. Fully legal. It helps in weight management. By the way, um, when that guy came in here and gave it to me and said that he, he brought it in, that was a lie. He lied. He got it from someone who legally purchased it here in America, and he brought it over to me. Oh. Wink, wink. Yeah. That's Get for it? sure what happened. That's yes. what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. No way was this He's important. a good dude. He There's is. no way he would do that. No. Why uh-uh. the fuck would he do that? The rules are there because they're good. The rules are only there always because they're good.